Puffer jackets, everybody seems to love them. For me personally, they are definitely a winter wardrobe essential, but which are the best? What do we need to be looking out for when it comes to buying one and how do we style them? Well, let's find out. Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video, which as you can see today, today is all things puffer jackets. You know, which are the best? What's the difference when it comes to down and synthetic fill? Different ways in which you can style them. Basically, everything you need to know when it comes to purchasing your puffer jacket. Before we jump in though guys, let's smash that thumbs up button, hit subscribe for weekly fashion content, and lastly, hop on over to my Instagram, and give me a follow over there. But that's the intro done, let's get stuck in. All right, so I feel like the first thing that you kind of need to know when, I guess, making your decision in which puffer jacket to purchase or which is the best, is actually the difference in what it's kind of padded or filled with. Now, they're normally either filled with down, and this could be duck down or goose down, and this, this type of jacket is normally on the more expensive side. Or on the flip side, you can also get them filled with a synthetic polyester, which is normally cheaper than the downfill option. However, in terms of actual warmth, you'll find that a downfill jacket will definitely keep you warmer than a synthetic polyester filled jacket, and to go, to go one step further, goose down would kind of be at the top of that warmth list, and then underneath that would be duck down, and then underneath that at the bottom of the list, in terms of warmth, would be the synthetic polyester. One thing to look for when purchasing a down fill jacket is the down to feather ratio. So essentially, a 90% down, 10% feather jacket will be warmer than a 70% down and 30% feather jacket. So the more down, the warmer the jacket. That being said, there's definitely some really good kind of new recycled polyester technology coming out within the industry, which is resulting in some solid polyester filled jackets. However, down definitely still takes the top spot. Now, in terms of actual options or recommendations, I'm gonna show you a few that I have here, and then we're gonna go on to show you some different ways in which I personally like to style them. Now, if you are on a budget, your kind of options will more than likely lean more towards the polyester fill jackets. Now, a great option for this that I have here is this beauty. Now, this is from ASOS, and these normally kind of start at around 50 to 60 pound. But like I said, this is polyester filled, so it's not gonna be the kind of warmest of choices when it comes to puffer jackets. But if that, I guess, isn't your priority, if you're just on the hunt for a really nice looking jacket that is really well priced, then this is a great option. And then if you, I guess, want to kind of slightly move up a layer in terms of price, you've got the likes of Weekday, you've got Cos, you've got Arkit, those have also got some solid options. And then guys, if you, I guess, want to kind of slightly creep up that ladder again a little bit more in terms of price point and quality, you have this beauty, which is from a British luxury brand called Summit UK. So this is filled with a recycled polyester. So it is on the more kind of expensive side, especially for a polyester fill. However, the overall kind of build and overall quality of this piece is definitely at a higher point than the kind of high street stores. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but it has this kind of really unique kind of crinkle nylon outer shell, which I really do like. However, it is heavily wadded as you can see. So it does have that kind of, you know, exaggerated puffy look and it's definitely warmer than those ASOS options due to how much fill has actually been put in. And it also has the kind of added details of the higher quality hardware as well. You know, we've got the YKK, dual zippers. Like I said, just the overall build of this piece is of a kind of higher point. Now, I don't actually have a down filled puffer to hand. However, I've got some great options. Number one being Cole Buxton. They have some beautiful down filled puffer jackets. As you can see guys, really eye-catching pieces, 
super unique. You know, they're of course on the more expensive side, but at the same time, for a down fill jacket, they're actually not too highly priced. Especially if you compare the price of the Cole Buxton down fill jackets to some of the high end puffer jackets, which are actually filled with polyester. They're not even filled with down. That's a prime example of when you're paying for the brand name. Another beautiful option, guys, when it comes to down fill jackets is these absolute unreal pieces from another British brand called Seventh Stores. Now, these are coming in at £400, but are absolutely unreal. Like, incredible colour palette, incredible silhouette, incredible styling, like Seventh Stores, it's a yes from me. But yeah, guys, those were a few different kind of recommendations when it comes to both downfilled and polyester filled puffer jackets. I'll also put a load more in the description down below. So make sure you go and check that. But now I'm going to kind of show you some different styling ideas, some different outfits that I've put together styling my personal three puffer jackets. Let's take a look. And there we have it guys, so that is it for today's video. And honestly, I've really enjoyed this one. I feel like it's been, I feel like it's had a bit of everything. You know, it's been super informative. You know, you've had some outfit ideas. It's, it's had a little bit of everything. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you managed to kind of take something away from it, whether that be from the information or the outfits, whatever it might be, maybe I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you're new, drop a comment down below, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically the daily vlog and I will see you guys next Sunday, which is going to be a huge video. Please guys, make sure you come back next Sunday. It might actually be, it's one of my biggest videos yet. I'll see you then. Peace.